Hey there! Welcome to AutoDraw.com and today we're going to make a drawing uh, similar to Vincent van Gogh's Sunflowers. Uh, I love this picture because of the texture that you see in these big, big flowers. Uh, see how they've, they've kind of lost their petals and then we have some of these smaller ones that still have some of their petals in there. I like the way he uses brown instead of black to outline the vase and the background line. He adds just a touch of blue here in the line uh, that goes around the vase. See how he made the vase look round by using a curved line? And there's a touch of blue over here in that sunflower to kind of help it uh, make it blend in. The only reddish brown that we see is right over here. He uses just a little bit over here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to draw our own vase and then we're going to add in our flowers uh, and uh, we're going to use this all with auto draw. So what we want to do first when you go to autodraw.com, uh, you can come up here to the three bars and pick one of these uh, sizes that you want to go with. I just picked the middle one. And instead of using the auto draw, auto draw I'm going to use the regular drawing tool. And I'm going to draw my vase first. So I'm going to find a, a brown. There's a good brown. And I'm going to draw my vase. Now you notice that you don't see the whole vase. You see the side, you see the curved bottom. It's not a straight line, it's a curved bottom. And then we've kind of got a diagonal line and then our flowers kind of cover up the side and then there's a little bit more and then you don't even see the top. So that's pretty cool. So we don't even have to draw the whole thing. So I'm gonna start a little bit below middle and I'm gonna draw the side of my vase. Okay, there's one. And is it perfect now? And I'm gonna I'm gonna curve my line at the bottom Boop. and then I'm gonna kind of make an angle up here is it perfect no I don't like that line though that's what I love about the undo button and the undo button great okay and then he's got that blue line that goes across there and we need our background line so I'm gonna put that I'm gonna draw it across here and touch my vase and jump over the vase and draw it across to the other side. Oop, I ran into something. There. Okay. So now we can start with your flowers. Now here you can do whatever flower you want. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little bit lighter color. Okay. I remember up here at the top this shows you how thick you can make your lines okay now remember fabulous undo button so I'm gonna start I'm gonna draw this one see how he's out front and he's on top of this other one is below him and then you've got this other one behind him so I'm gonna start with this guy first now you're right you're not having to draw the whole thing so let me draw I'm gonna... does that look a look that looks a little huge Maybe make that a little bit smaller. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Now, does it have to be perfect? No. But you know what? I'm going to fill that up real quick. Let's fill in our, our brown. Ooh. There we go. And how about let's get another one? Which other one? I'm looking over here. This guy is kind of over here by himself, he's out front. So he's kind of in front. I'm going to make him a different shape. Not as big, maybe. Okay. And it's okay if it goes up off the page. All right. So let me get down from the ginormous here. Now let's, let's go back to this one. So we've got a little bit of that light, funky green. So let's find some light, funky green. Here we go. And I'm going to wiggle, 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 wiggle. Get some of that green in there. I got a little bit of green over here. And like I said, you're not having to do every single one of these sunflowers. We're just picking the kinds that you like the most. Okay? 
And uh, let's see, let's go back and I'm gonna get my brown again. I'm gonna get a different brown. And I'm gonna get that next one and I'm gonna put one up underneath here. Mm. And like, but what? Yeah, hang on a second, let me show you something. So, I'm gonna go color him in. Let's get a little bit more of that brown. Right, but that's the same color. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, now. Look, this is gonna be sneaky here. So see where these two kind of overlap a little bit? Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Apparently, the artificial intelligence doesn't like us making dots, because what happens when you make dots? He kind of loses his mind a little bit, and he thinks, see, see what I'm saying? It goes into the select button, so when that happens, because you're making some dots, um, you can hit the back button, boop, and that goes away, or you can hit delete, and then go back to your pencil, okay? So just letting you know that that kind of happens. Uh, oh, we need some green over here. So let's get our green. Do we want to add a little more brown? Just a little more brown, just for some fun. I like the way it just adds just a little bit of extra something, something. All right, there's our green, and let's get a little bit green. And remember, this is ooh, a little crazy on that one. This is an organic shape, so perfection. It's not, you know, it's just a nice little organic shape um, that is any way you want it to be because there's no wrong answer. Okay, all right, see? Yeah, go back. All right, make sure you go back to the pencil. All right, so we got those two guys. Um, oh, let's get a little bit of brownish over here on him. Yeah, I'm kind of winging it. And that's okay. It's kind of like a floating weird donut, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so we got a couple, we've got three of those guys. Now, we need... All right, you know what? Before I get going on my other flowers, let's go ahead and color our base real quick. I think I'm going to use this color right here, and I'm going to get a big old, big old color. All right, so I'm going to color. Oops, let's back up so I can still see what I'm doing. Let's see. I'm going to color in my base here. always touch up my brown, not a big deal. Because they don't have an eraser here, do they? So we're just going to go all the way around. Okay, and let's see, we need a, a yellowy color for the top part. Actually, I'm going to use this orange color. I might have to get a little bit smaller. I mean, change the, the, the thickness of your drawing line right up there. I'm going to get that curve line. See, I'm smiling it across my base here. All right, I'm going to attach it over there. Let's fill that in. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the tiny, tiny, and I'm going to give him some, so it's not perfect. So it doesn't look like I just blocked that in to give my, my flowers some not perfectly smoothness. Okay. Hey, how about that? That really looks wonky right there, doesn't it? <laughs> so let me fix that. There, whoop. That one. All right. There. 
Okay. So now I can go back and I can. A bit smaller. Let's outline our base. Smile it around the bottom. Boop. And you know what? I'm going to get that. Did you notice the blue? We talked about that blue. So it's a pretty light blue. How about that one? Let's just get our line. So draw that across. And you know what's cool? We're going to, we'll sign our name here real quick. I'm going to zoom in. So let's go. Woo! Let's go on to 250. Nope. There we go. Let's lower this a little bit. And let's go draw. And I want a teeny tiny line. We're going to write our name. Just like Vincent did. He wrote his name right here. But you have to make sure I would blow it up real good. There you go. There's my name. And now... I don't want to, I want to go back to 100%. So I hit my zoom button here. So I can go back to 100%. Here's my base. And here's my little black slider here. So now I can see what I'm doing. Now we're going. I probably, you know, I tried this before where I tried to change the color of my background. Let me see. Let's try that orange. Um, just curious. No, if it changed everything, we don't want it to change it. So, if I want that to be my my fill down here at the bottom. Now, it's okay if you go outside your lines. So, I'm not going to get real close to my base because then i got to touch it all up again. But I can get all this big stuff. And I can trace around here and I know when when are we going to go to the sorry about that. When are we getting to the rest of our flowers? Where we're going. Hang on a second. Oops. Undo. And it's okay if you go outside the lines. Because it's only gonna save what is inside your lines. Okay? Alright. And I can always go back over these little lines right in here. Because... Oh. Zoom in. Zoom in. And we're going to go back to our line. Right. Oops. A dot that went astray. Okay, so let's see where we're at. Nope. Let's get our line back and let's finish off this little line. Now really, don't worry about where you went off the edge. Not a big deal. I'm going to leave my background white for right now. Because I feel like leaving it white. All right. So let's go to, how about, let's go to this, let's make this one that's kind of hanging over here on the side. We want to make the stem first. So I'm going to make a, um, 
Let's find us another green. Is there another green? Hmm. How about that one? All right. So I'm going to make... Oh. Forgot to get off zoom. Let's draw. Let's draw a line. Oop. Because the stem, you notice, gets a little bit thicker down here, doesn't it? And what I like about auto draw here is that we can let's make this a little bit bigger so we don't have to work harder. Here we go. Um, we can get those drawn in, and that can make smaller ones, and we can get the little the zigzaggies. Now, what else did he do in here to so that you could see some of these zigzaggies? Did he use another value of green? Yeah, he did, didn't he? So let's get this darker value of green. We can outline some of these guys. Oops. All right. Because that's what it looks like, doesn't it? Some zigzag lines in there. on the side there because it's going away from us so it's going to be a little bit darker and we can always cover that up a little bit all right so now what do we have now let's put in our flower our flower petals Ooh, how about that so what do our flower petals look like zigzags right okay well let's try some now that's a little tiny, so I might want to get a little bit bigger because I'm going to be filling all that in. Now is it okay if you go over some of your other stuff? Sure. Why not? So I'm going to make some, oh, you know what? I'm going to make it go over my, my vase a little bit. So let's make some flower petals, shall we? Let's see, bigger at the bottom, pointier at the top. Oop, color that in. crazy with the ends there. And that's okay. Who's going to say that, that that's not right? That's my piece of art. Right? Alright. And it looks like it's got a little brownish in there. I'm going to give it a little brown so it helps separate some of that. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to make it a little bit small. We'll put some zigzags in there too. Kind of like what we did with our, um, our leaves. The part that holds up our... this one we can put some yellow leaves look at those shapes of those leaves are kind of fun organic let's go find that yellow again or whatever color you're using you don't have to use the colors I'm using you know you know what's fun with this is that you can experiment let's make it a little bit thicker let's work smarter not harder right and let's make some fun petal size Try not to cover over your name, like I almost did. Give yourself some little flower petal looking things in here. Some they're going the same way. Got a little crazy on that one, but that's okay. Like little shark fins. Okay. Oh, let's see. How about, I like this guy over here. He's pretty neat. 
So I'm going to start with that kind of beige, your center. Let's go find us some more brown. So I tell you what, I'm going to keep making mine. Let's see what this color looks like. Neat. And you can make yours and then we'll share them. Oh, look, look how this one's got some little dark brown polka dots in there. Now I know that our little uh, program does not like dots, but he's going to have to get over it. So when he goes and says, no, I don't want you to do dots. You take a little time in between the little dots. There we go. All right, I'm going to have some fun with some flower petals. And you see how we've made this one stand out. It's in front. So we're creating that illusion of depth. It's in front, and these uh, this other one is behind it. This one's back behind that one. So I'm going to make some fun. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Smarter, not harder. Let's work smarter, not harder. Those are fun. And you know, it also eats up a lot of this space in here. You know, so when I make some of these guys, it's filling in this space. And let's see, let's get some of these hanging down here. <laughs> okay. It looks like some wild haired thing, doesn't it? It's, ooh, I'm gonna bring some orange. It does have some of that orange color, doesn't it? Just remember when it makes those little, um, I don't want two lines, and the select button comes up and you get that little blue box, you can just hit uh, undo or uh, delete and make sure you go back to the pencil. Okay. All right, I'm going to give him some green. And I know it's different. He's different than the other one, and that's okay. Give him. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Let's see. Now we've got to be able to connect this guy. He's kind of floating out in nowhere land. Now we put a green. A leaf right over here. Cool. All right. And remember, we can zoom in. Zoom in. And I can draw some lines in my, in my, oh, uh, hello, draw the line. Get some veins in my leaf here. the zoom in feature don't you that way I'm not flying blind all right I'm gonna get I like to get this guy because see he's got that touch of that red 
and he's got some of that blackish color so is that one up there see how he sparingly uses some black and red and the blue we've got some blue down here and here I like the way he kind of spreads out those colors so I'm gonna give get this little guy to help fill up my space with some big tall uh, yellow petals so let's go back and I'm gonna find my brown brown and give us a small oh get a pencil give us a small small little line I'm gonna have to zoom in a little bit because there's no way I can see that all right and let's go back to our pencil and change the color and, oh my mercy don't forget to change the size of it and I'm intentionally making him wiggly Let's go back for our yellow. yellow and let's make some. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Make your flower petals, take your time. Okay, if you leave some gaps in there, you know, and there's some that have already fallen off. I like this guy. He is hanging out in front of our petal, our, the main head of the flower here. Here we go. All right, that's taking up a lot of space. See, and then we can put our green down here. Very cool. All right, here's some green. So let's see, we need those short little zigzags. Short zigzags. Remember, if you don't like what you did, you hit that undo button. It is my favorite button. There we go. All right, we need some kind of stemmage. Let's make our stem. It runs behind, so we're, we're creating that depth again. And we'll get some of that dark green again. Here we go. And see how he made... Oops, let's make it a little bit smaller. See how we added just a little bit of the zig? Looks like letter V's, doesn't it? Here we go. Get that smaller. Yeah. So, oh, you know what? We need to get the, um, the stem for this one. Let's get that stem. I used a different green, didn't I? That way they kind of stand out a little bit better. And remember, the stem's going to be bigger where it comes to the flower. I like the way there's a couple of little, little green whippets up here. Okay. So let's see what we've got. Let's back out a little bit. All right. Got a big flower. We need something over here, don't we? Do we need, how about, how about this one? It's got a little bit of everything in it, doesn't it? 
All right. Because that's, well, and this is kind of empty over here, isn't it? How about we put that bluish flower over here? Let's get that pencil. Let's make that weird wiggly shape that makes that blue shape. So that our, our, our blue doesn't just stick out like a sore thumb down here. All right. Got a little bit of blue. Let's find that our brown that we've been using. Let's go for a little bit of brown. There. Okay. Now let's let's get to adding some of our flower petals. I'm getting good at this now. Flower petals. Okay. Smarter, not harder. Here we go. Now maybe this one's going to have shorter petals. I like just making some fun zigzags and any of those little uh-ohs that I made. Eh, who's going to know, right? Let's see, let's try a little bit of orange. Add a little orange, orange, into our picture here. That's kind of funky. Alright. Hey, is mine perfect? And that's okay. I'm just having fun playing with it. Let's get this guy that's coming around. There we go. Okay, I think that kind of helps separate some of our flower petals, doesn't it? Ooh. There's just another layer in there, doesn't it? Alright, so let's give him a stem, and you get a stem, and you get a stem. Okay. Yep. Oh, how about a leaf? You want to do a leaf too? Is there a little leaf out there? We can add a leaf. Why not, right? This is our, our idea. Can we? Seriously. Bless his heart, it's been obsessed with belts. Okay. Alright, one more something something over here. Alright, but you get the idea of how we're filling up our space. I've got to have something over here that bothers me. Doesn't that? That's a big empty hole right there. What can I put over there? How about I add some of these green leafy things over there? You think that could help take up that space? And it won't make me crazy? Let's see. Ooh, wrong color. Let's try that other green. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. Because that was a hot mess. All right, we're gonna make some lines. Nope, gotta get a pencil. Here we go. There we go. Let's get him another one. Remember, when we do this, it also helps sharpen some of those other leaves, doesn't it? So, and then we can get that darker green in there. I don't know 
something like that. Let, let's see if that helped us out. Not too bad. What do you think? I like it. That helped take up that space so it's not so bad, not so heavy. So that's not bad for a digital painting of Vincent Van Gogh's. And let me find that brown. Is that the brown we used? I think so. I'm going to go back over my background line right here. And that's not... Let's try that one. There we go. There we go. Alright. I think I am done. I got my name on it. And it's my interpretation of Vincent Van Gogh's Sunflowers. And so we're going to go up here to the top, uh, to the three bars, and hit download. And I'm going to call this um, VVG. Yeah, I was going to say Vincent Van Gogh. I'm just going to call it Sunflowers in Vase. Okay, you can call it what you like. Sun and flowers, compound word. And there we go. And let's see what it looks like. Ta da! And see, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, how I went outside the edges here. It cuts it off. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed creating uh, Vincent Van Gogh's sunflowers. Uh, using auto draw and I hope you maybe you experimented with some different colors That'll be fun. All right until next time Have a great day and keep making art